Hey y'all, Austin here with Outer World Media. Welcome back to another monthly haul. Um, I swear these months just keep flying by quicker and quicker as this year keeps going on. I swear February flew by faster than January and March just blink an eye and it's it's gone. Um, but we're gonna start this off a little different than usual on these monthly hauls because I want to incorporate some movie aspects into this. So I'm gonna do a you know, start this off with a haul of movies that I picked up in the month of March. So we're going to start it off strong with Young Guns on 4K. Um, if you don't know, Best Buy is kind of going out of uh, the, the movie game. So I went by my local Best Buy and they happen to have Young Guns uh, in 4K with this cool little slip cover, steel book. Comes with some cards and whatnot. And I thought it was really cool. Um... I remember watching this movie a time or two when I was a kid. I don't remember a whole lot about it. I know this is kind of about Jesse James, I believe. But you know what? As a as a Western fan in both books, movies, and TV shows, I, this is one I had to own. Um, and I, I can't wait to watch it because I know that this has some, some great actors. I mean, it's got Charlie Sheen. It's got... Um, Oh, Blue Diamond Phillips, it's got Emilio Estevez, and it's got Kiefer Sutherland. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching this and kind of uh, seeing that, um, you know, as an adult and not as a kid. My wife has never seen that movie, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to watching that. Uh, some other ones that I did pick up, I picked up some A24 uh, movies, which is a company that produces movies. I picked up The Lighthouse um, for my local Target. Um, this is a movie I'd never seen. I'd heard mixed things about, uh, and I, I just, I wanted to see it because not only is it in black and white, but it's kind of one of those like leaves your head scratching from what I heard. I did watch it. I enjoyed it for the most part. This is definitely a kind of out there, uh, movie. It is a raw, what is it? Robert Egger movie. Um, if you don't know Robert Egger, he did the witch in like 2015, 2016, and that was a movie after watching. I've only seen it one time. And after watching, I felt like I had to take a shower, just kind of cleanse myself from watching it. So I was interested to see, you know, kind of how this was. And this is definitely, like I said, it's an interesting movie. Um, and I'll do an in-dive review on this and Young Guns and the, a couple other movies that I'm going to be uh, talking about. Um, but I did pick that up and I did watch that. Uh, it took me a couple sittings to sit down and watch it. Uh, I had to watch it without my wife because she's not a huge horror fan. Um, I did pick up Scream 6. Um, while I'm going to be honest, this is not my favorite in the series. I am a huge Scream fan. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I have the candle from back in, I think it was like 97 when this came out. Um, I mean, so I'm a huge Scream fan. Um, so I enjoyed some aspects of this. Um, I haven't seen it since I saw it at the drive-in. I know, crazy, right? They still have drive-ins. Well, over here in West Texas, in Lubbock, we do have a drive-in. So I went and watched that with my wife when that came out. Um, another movie I picked up was Hereditary, which is another A24 film. I have heard that this is like the modern-day Exorcist, this generation's Exorcist. Um, so I'm interested to see this. I haven't watched it yet. Um... But I, I did get that ordered. Um, so, and again, that's going to cap off the, the movie portion of that. So, let me put these over here. And let's get into it. So, we're going to start off with... Uh, I got a decent amount of books um, this month. Uh, but we're going to start it off with a trilogy that I picked up that I don't know a whole lot about. I know a little bit, but hardly anything. And that is the Old Man's War trilogy. Um, I know there's like a fourth, fifth, and sixth book. I don't know if there's six or eight of these books, um, but I did pick these up for my local second in Charles. Um, it was actually cool. This one has a, the autograph dedicated to someone, but it's got the author's um, autograph on there, which I thought was cool. I didn't realize that till after the fact, um, but I definitely am looking forward to reading the, sorry, I just bumped my, cap, uh, my uh, table here. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, reading these. I kind of want to throw Old Man's War and try to read it in this month coming up in April. So I'll probably try to do that. I've never been that big into, you know, sci-fi books, really. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I like Star Trek okay-ish, I guess. Um, so I, I kind of want to, you know, dive into science fiction books. So if you if you have any recommendations, definitely leave them um, down in the comments below um again i've never really read a whole lot of science fictions and i know that this series essentially 
how what this series is about to kind to uh, put it into like a cliff note version is this is many many years down the line i know hard to believe with a sci-fi series that it's years and years down the line in earth's future but essentially earth has colonized other planets and what's happened is in our expanse we've you know gone to war with aliens and this and that and so earth has made a deal where if you go and you fight for two years in the galactic army i guess is how you want to say um you can win a homestead on a different planet and whatnot the twist to the series though you can't be young what i mean by that is they want people that are retired they want people that have life experience that have skills i mean they want and I think that is awesome to see um, because a lot of times when you read these, from what I understand, when you read series like this, you know, it's someone in their 20s, eight, you know, when they're 18, 19, whatever, um, and they're just gung-ho, you know, I don't have a whole lot of life experience, but you know what, I'm going to go and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to destroy all these, you know, people and these aliens and whatnot, and I'm going to win. I'm kind of interested to see the aspect as far as, you know, how life experience will help someone decide what to do when they're in the middle of you know war um when i picked these up it got me wanting to read uh what is that starship troopers i believe is what it's called by robert heimlin i think is his name um so if i enjoy these while well, i don't think they they're associated by any means um I, I need to start picking up some robert heimlin books uh and read those if you guys have read any of his books recommend some down in the comments below like i said i want to try to start diving into some science fiction books um and i'm hoping this is a good series to start um get those put over there for a second let me get a cup of drink of coffee here now this next one um should probably not surprise anybody um if you saw the video that i posted a couple days ago i had an interview with Mr. Robert Johnson, um, the author, uh, sorry, Craig Johnson. I don't know why I say Robert Johnson. Craig Johnson had the an interview with him and was talking about how I needed to pick up his books and this and that. And, you know, I have them on my Kindle. And I've, I've just been telling my wife I want to have them in physical, you know, format just because while I do enjoy, you know, having stuff on my Kindle and be able to stream stuff, I think that buying physical media is very important. I think that goes to help um you know the industry and that way i have it so they they can't change it because i've noticed that kind of happened stuff has kind of been changed because it's anyways i'm not going to dive into that that touchy subject but i did go to my local second and charles um bookstore today and this is what kind of inspired me to do this video while we were there they had a, a deal it was a penny a page uh for these books up to so many books and whatnot and so i was looking with my wife and lo and behold they had, I'm not even joking, y'all. They had books number two through 14 of the Walt Longmire series there. I looked at my wife and she knew. She knew that it was over, that I was going to get them. They did have the short story collections, uh, but I had I had to draw the line somewhere. So my wife said, you know what, get the rest of them. You know, come back in a couple of days. If they have it there, they have them. If not, you know, because I had to carry these out by hand. And it was, it was kind of hard to, but again... But book three here, let's kind of uh, show them off because the cover art for these, I just, I love them. Um, book three, Kindness Goes Unpunished. Um, book number four, Another Man's Moccasins. Book five, uh, The Dark Horse. Book six, Junkyard Dogs. Um. Uh, when I get to reviewing this one, this is probably my top three favorite Longmire books um, thus far. Excuse me. That one, I think, has probably the most comedic aspect to it. Um, book seven, Hell is Empty. And they actually wrote on top of the book, whoever the previous owner was, uh, as far as what uh, order these go in, which I, I did appreciate. And they are a little beat up and tore up. But you know what? I am not one to complain about a used book as long as it the seam is in contact and you know what, I, uh, book eight uh, as the crow flies. I was telling my wife when I was looking at these, I was like, I I need to get them, and she kept saying why why, and I told her how much the box set was on Amazon, and she said, you know what, okay, get them. Um, book nine, a serpent's tooth. Book number number ten, any other name, and this is as far as I've gotten in the series. So, I am happy to have the next four books. 
Book 11, Dry Bones. I think this one probably has the coolest looking cover art. When my wife saw the cover art to this when we were checking out, she goes, you know what? That kind of makes me want to watch Jurassic Park. So she's actually out in the living room watching that right now because of that cover art. Book 12, an obvious fact. Um, book 13, The Western Star. And book 14, Depth of Winter. And this is the thickest one by far and i just i cannot wait it's almost 300 pages i i can't wait to dive in and and read these um kind of put these here again so you can just kind of see the spines um again this is a series i do apologize for the my little desk slash table shaking this is a series i i can't recommend enough i i love this series i've already told my wife i'm gonna probably reread Start over and reread book one and two when we're on our we're going on a cruise in uh, December. And I told her I'm probably going to reread these. I just want you to know, and she she was fine with that. But again, guys, if you come across any of these books, obviously start with book number one. But I just I can't praise this series enough. This has become one of my favorite series to read. Um, so, but again, that is the haul for the month of March. I might have another thing or two come in, but you know what? I'll I'll throw that in the haul for April. Um, but as always, let me know, what are y'all picking up? What books have you picked up? Again, if you have any science fiction books to recommend, um, even if, you know, they're not science fiction books, if there's something else, uh, please drop them in the comments below. I kind of want to start reading some historical fiction. Uh, you know, I need to read some nonfiction as well. So if you have any book recommendations, definitely drop them in the comments. Let me know. As always, I do appreciate every single one of you that has dropped by and watched my videos. Y'all have a good one.